Hello, welcome back to Engineering Sound. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to collect data from line, polyline, or any other shape by using Lisp. So we will create tables in AutoCAD, and same as it is, we will we will import the data from AutoCAD to CSV or text as a table. So it's very important. You can easily collect all the information about any object in AutoCAD or in AutoCAD Civil 3D. Okay, you can download the link from the description. So let's start the video. First of all, we will draw a polyline. Okay, like this shape, we need to draw this one. Click. Okay, this is our polyline. On this polyline, from this polyline, we will collect information, length, coordinates, and the thickness of the line. First of all, we will upload the Lisp AP, put command AP, and locate your Lisp folder. So select this one and load. Close it. Okay, the Lisp is uploaded successfully. And now we need to enter the command polyinfo p o l y i n f o. This is the command for this Lisp. Enter. Okay. Come to the command bar and see the instruction. Select polyline output. In which output do you need this information? In table, text, or in CSV? So first of all, we will go to select the table. Then next txt csv as well <clears throat> okay select table and it's against the instruction select the table and select the location where you want to put it the table okay specify point for the table and click here now the table is created you can see the table is available with very comprehensive detail and you can see the serial number x y and again x y for starting and ending and you can see here the width one and width two if you have width for the thickness of the polyline you will see in the next step i will explain it as well and you can see the lengths of the segment how much is the length from here we can check it from the dimension click here and just 8.76 if you come to the first section it will be definitely 8.76 if you check the next segment here this one okay 12.12 it will be definitely the same and here you can see 7.54 if you check here this one is 7.54 okay let's delete this okay now again you need to go to poly info enter and come here select output and this time we will select the csv table select csv okay click and the next you need to go to click on the line the table is here in the excel as a csv now we need to do some modification for the table to look it's pretty good you can see you can change the thickness anything and you can represent it in in your data as well okay just select some colors to represent it in good shape okay here we need to go to select some colors this and if you need to create a border around your table go to the format cell here here we go okay and go to the border and select the border from here okay and select the inside lines 
okay here click okay now the table look is looking very nice okay you can attach it with your data so we'll go again to the ticket to check poly info go here and output we will check the as well txt file okay go to the txt click here and select the polyline and you can see it here is our txt file the same as it is excel and autocad information lens listing nothing everything is here same as it is so the next we need to select the line or convert this line to arc so we will see the radius and coordinate of this arc okay click here now this arc is created and we will go again to the poly info command to check again the new table for the same polyline click here and select the location for the table okay here is our table so this is now included the extra information for the arc you can see the easting northing for the arc central line and also the radius length so we will do the cross check our information is correct or wrong let's go to the linear and check the radius first okay from here to here so check this one 7.334 let me copy and we will check with the table radius move and bring it here okay ah says the hundred percent same 7.33 7.33 so the next we will check the coordinates this one is thing nothing for the center point of the arc so we will need to put id command id to check the coordinate of this arc center line under just click and here is our coordinates let's check with the table if the coordinate is same or not see this one is x same as it is 2268534 and if you check let's zoom it check and if you check this one and this one is 100% same why is this 100% same okay so it's mean the information which one is provided by the lisp auto lisp is 100% correct and it will be very helpful to use it in our work okay go to home and now we will create some th poly lines which should be include with the thickness we will change the thickness of the lines so we will see it's provided in the table the thickness or not go here we need to enter 0.15 Okay. the first line is with the 0 0 thickness and the second line we will select the width from here starting point 0 thickness and the end point is 0 0.15 okay this one is with the thickness and now the third line is with the width 0 is the starting and 0 0.30 is the end of this poly line click and here we need to go to select again zero and one ten one zero okay click this is our polyline from zero thirty fifteen and with the tenth width of the polyline so now we will check this is in the table go to poly info and select and you can see specify the table location we will specify the location okay put here okay <coughs> the same as it is x y x y and and start x y start x y and okay and here is the width okay the start is 0 0 for each line and the end is 15 30 and 10
now we need to go again to polyinfo to look these things in csv okay select the polyline now it will be open automatically here you can see the width same as it is information which the table is give us in the AutoCAD okay guys I hope this tutorial is helpful if you like please like and subscribe we will see in the next tutorial goodbye